Costa Rican soda. I need to get a drink. And I'm not talking soda pop. It is just an explosion. My mouth is going off. I'm talking about real Costa Rican cuisine. Hey pretty friends, today we're going coast to coast in Costa Rica for a double dose of soda goodness. First, we're soaking up the vibrant vibes of Puerto Vallejo on the Caribbean coast. Mm, excellent. Then, we're riding the waves of Haku on the Pacific coast. Mm, that's really good. Ready for some true Costa Rican casados? Let's get started. I'm trying to take this away from me, but I can't. I gotta finish this. Oh man, one of the best blocks I had in a long time. So, we're kicking things off here on the Caribbean coast in the beautiful beach town of Puerto Vallejo. Guys, here we go. Ooh, it smells really nice. Yeah, this is like what they're famous for. There's a mixture of Caribbean style, uh, so I might have a little bit of curry flavor to it, maybe some coconut, but I see some squid, shrimp, mussels, Shrimp, clams, yeah, there's a whole, some uh, fish chunks as well. So I'm gonna go in for the first sip here, quickly. Oh, oh my God, that is really good. Let me go again. Oh yeah, that is some really, really sweet seafoody broth. No fishiness, it's just like a very clean, sweet, fresh seafood uh, broth taste to it. You can taste the sweetness from the clams, mussels, shrimp, fish, oh my god, everything combined together. A very nice, clean, clear broth, very deep with seafood flavor. They're sweet, oh my god. A little kitty right here trying to get some food. Let me show ya. This is making my day. It'll sober you up anytime. If you're hungover, it makes you feel better. If you're feeling sick, warm your soul. Feels good. I just want, you know, I'm not even gonna be shy about it. Oh man. I'm really happy right now. One of the best seafood broths I've had in a while. Oh my goodness, beautiful. So here we have it. This is the Pinto Gallo plantain patties here. Got a drumstick and a chicken thigh, all with the Caribbean sauce. With some rice and beans here. And obviously a nice little salad on the side, fresh green garden salad. All right, let's go in. I am hungry. All right, just as is some Drumstick meat with the gravy and of course rice and beans. First big bite guys. But amazing. Oh my god. Caribbean style gravy. It tastes all the herbs and spices in there. I'm gonna guess there's a lot of cinnamon, maybe some star anise, maybe some cumin. Oh man, it's really good. And mixing it with the uh, pinto gallo. Let's have it with a bite of this. Already soaked up with the gravy. Mm, 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 excellent. Nice, crispy, crunchy. Oh yeah, here we go. Some salad. Let me cool down a bit. Mm. Time to spice this bad boy up, guys. All right, let's go in. Bite number two with some hot sauce, guys. The chicken is good, off the bone, still delicious, soaked in all of that uh, gravy, so super flavorful still regardless. That's just slightly on the dry side. But since we're soaking on that gravy, that's what's keeping it moist. Mm. 
still excellent. All the juice has obviously been rendered out and into the sauce. Mm, excellent. Mine is still excellent though. Really, really, really good. Rice and beans here, man. Pinto gallo, amazing. I'm stuffed. I'm gonna give the rest of this to the, at least the meat, to the beautiful cat here. So cute. This is a heavy meal, big meal. Total, it's gonna be like 10,000 colones. Yeah, you think Costa Rica was cheap. I heard it was super cheap, but after coming here, you know, seeing the prices, just a little higher than I expected because everything I was eating in uh, Colombia, half the price, I swear. And, but still, regardless, the food is good. I'm not complaining about the price. I'm not complaining about the food. I'm just letting you guys know, just sharing the knowledge of what to expect if you ever come here to uh, Costa Rica. This meal was epic, really good. The Shining Star here was 100% the soup and seafood broth was just so sweet, goddamn. I'll see you y'all at the next spot. Cheers. Now we're about to travel 300 kilometers west to the Pacific Coast to the wild beach town of Hako. This is Soda Gerabito. All right, guys. So here we are at the soda here. Very famous, very busy here. Yeah, it's kind of like cafeteria style. You go up, there's so many options, like many different kinds of soup, rice, protein, fish, uh, chicken, it's all, salads, all lined up, and you just kind of pick what you want. And yeah, they charge you. So right now we got the soup here. So it's chicken soup mixed with some plantains, melon, cassava, potato, carrots, a little bit of everything, all in the soup. Very hearty and looks amazing. Oh yeah. So good. Oh man, soup is so delicious. Very flavorful from all the veggies. And of course the chicken too. But a slightly bit on the oily side of the top. But yeah, this is really good soup. I really like the melon here. Not sure what kind of melon it is. Oh, there's potatoes too. I love potatoes. Mm. Good. And the portions are huge, as you can tell. You know, we got everything here, this huge soup. Uh, this plate, two big plates like this, and just to 15,000 15, uh, colones. Try a bit of the chicken here. Oh yeah, nice and tender. Mm. I can't help stop myself, this soup is so good. So flavorful. But next, let's go on to this bad boy. My plate, the casado, the plata. So my plate here, I got the gallo pinto, the rice and beans, with a piece of chicken, and uh, beef ribs, and of course sa garden salad is on top. But yeah, let's go in. Oh yeah, it comes right off the bone, damn. No need to work, it falls right off. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, this beef, so soft, so tender. Mm. Excellent. And some of the rice. Mm. Oh yeah. The rice and bean here is really good. Nice, dry. Very flavorful. And next up, the chicken here. Like in a tomato sauce. The tomato like gravy. Let's just go right into the bad boy. Mmm. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I think it's a pretty good deal. It's like a typical, so the name of this place is like soda. It's like, a, it's like a typical type of restaurant you find throughout Costa Rica. So yeah, this is definitely where you'll find all the local people eating. I'm just gonna go in, ahead and finish this. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next shot. So that wraps things up here today. Stay tuned for my next video where I eat traditional Caribbean food on the Caribbean coast. Mm, excellent. Perdavida, foodie friends.